Good morning. My name is BJ Ho. I'm an OBGYN physician in southwestern Phoenix, Arizona. My practice is called Australia Women's Health Center, and I'm here today to talk about how I place a Foley bolt. I've been doing this since 2010, and I think that this technique is really, really safe, advantageous because of all of the opportunities it'll give you compared to the other means of placing them, which make it a little more difficult than it has to be. Right now on my tray, I have latex, I'm sorry, sterile gloves, a single glove for exam, a double set for placement. This is a 22 French 30cc Foley balloon. This is an adult endotracheal stylet from anesthesia. And then 60 cc's of saline. So the first thing that I'll do is put on the single glove and do the exam on the patient. Try to determine the location, the station, of course, uh, but understanding the endocervical direction gives me an idea of how to pass the Foley bolt. This is a lot like how you would place an IEPC, an intrauterine pressure catheter, which I think then makes this so much easier than all the other ways to do it. After I've completed the exam, I'll remove that single glove and put on my sterile set of gloves. At this time, I'll ask the assistant to go ahead and open the Foley balloon. And we'll do all this in sterile technique. Thank you. And I'll also then open the stylet. The stylet will be the second piece of equipment. At the end of the Foley, you'll notice two apertures, and we'll be using that with regards to the stylet. So I'll insert the stylet into the distal most aperture. And now I have a relatively semi-rigid, but smooth and soft guide in order to place the Foley into the cervix. Without this, you have no strength behind the Foley itself. And there's no other really good instruments that are as safe as a stylet, as this endotracheal stylet here. I also like to put a little bit of curve or camber to it uh, so that we can adjust for curves and positioning of the endocervix. So then I'll do the exam. I'll guide the tip of the Foley into the cervix and I'm trying to make sure with palpation that the Foley bulb itself is towards the inner aspect of the endocervix so that even if it's still in the cervix it'll still slide up into the early womb. So at this point I'll have my assistant go and grab that with your hand. Go ahead and instill 60 cc's I'm holding my hand there as a placeholder the whole time. I'm palpating as the balloon gets instilled to make sure that it's not coming out of the cervix. With 60 cc's, you can expect them to dilate to four to five centimeters once it comes out. And once the last one's in, I'll gently turn and twist and pull with traction on the stylet, which will leave then the Foley bulb in place. Thank you for your time, and that is how we place our Foley bulbs here at Australia Women's Health Center.